It's Margaret Maloney with PM Student and what to do when your stakeholders will not talk to you. Why would one of your project stakeholders refuse to talk to you? You are the project manager, the leader and facilitator of communication. First, you wanna make sure that there's no confidentiality or clearance issue, that you're allowed to know what it is you need to know. That sounds crazy, I guess, but I've led projects where part of the project was a black box to me. Next, check yourself. And I mean, don't make up stories that cause you to label your stakeholder as difficult or uncommunicative. Perhaps you are dealing with someone who is over allocated and stressed out and doesn't see your project as the highest priority. Or maybe he or she won't share information with you because they're not ready to share information with you. You could always ask. There could be a disagreement over project priority. Consult with your steering committee or your sponsor and find out. Now sometimes it is possible that he or she is purposefully withholding information. Hmm. The strategy that you take is dependent on knowing why. Is this someone who cannot give you the information or someone who will not give you the information? How do you know? At first, both reasons for withholding information might look and feel the same. But if you're dealing with a stakeholder who's not comfortable in his or her role or doesn't know the subject matter, he or she is possibly embarrassed and uncomfortable. And that's going to lead them to avoid you. So speak to them privately and ask if he or she has questions or concerns about doing the work. And if you know he or she shares with you that they have some challenges, then of course get them some help. And if they say nothing, well then, Move on, move on, but set a due date. Be clear about what is needed and set an appointment for him or her to present the information to you. And don't let this appointment slip. When you review his or her work, you're going to have the opportunity to see if there's a problem and you're probably going to find your answer as to whether or not they cannot or will not. Now, at this point, you might be ready to throw your hands up in the air and say, I don't know. I can't even get them to talk to me or take my calls or answer my texts. Ugh. Don't forget the power of the well-phrased question. Ask him or her why. They might tell you. And in their response, they come your strategy. Information is a type of currency. What can you give your stakeholder that will encourage him or her to share with you? Is it showing them more gratitude for the work, letting them know how valuable they are, giving them face time so that they have a chance to impress upper management? Despite all your efforts, it might be necessary to escalate. And if your stakeholder won't share and cannot tell you why, get help. Don't place project success at risk. When it's necessary to escalate, make it about the situation, not making it personal. Don't let the escalation be a surprise. Be calm and professional in your communications. Be clear about what is needed and the impact the project will suffer if the information is not delivered. Do not wait until the critical path is delayed. The bigger picture is that hoarding knowledge damages everyone. Nobody can generate new ideas or creative approaches if only one person has all of the information.